So, we have an option known as Bone Display. We've already accessed this by creating our bones with X-ray, so we can now view our bones through our meshes. However, we can change how these bones actually look. Now, this could be useful depending on the type of object that you're creating. Maybe you're creating a very thin object with very thin parts, and this may require you to use wire style bones because they can act and look more like the object that you're creating them with. So we're going to have a look at these different display types and we have five types of bone. We have octahedral, stick, b-bone, envelope and wire. So let's very quickly go over each of these. So we currently have, if I zoom in and I'm going to get rid of the gizmo, we currently have an octahedral bone. This is a very good starting point for us because we know that the octahedral bone is made up of a pyramid where the long point makes up the top and the wide point makes up the bottom. If we move on to stick, stick is a really good one because the bone basically becomes a line with two points. This again is useful. This is particularly useful if you want to create a load of bones. So you can create a load of bones, an entire network of bones for a large object and you think maybe the octahedral option is too thick maybe it will get in the way maybe maybe you won't be able to see quite what you want to see when looking for ways to alter your rig so sticks really handy if you want to create loads of bones and you want to create loads of extensions out of those bones and be able to see what you're doing uh, one downside to using sticks though is because they're so thin it may be difficult to locate the one you want when editing. Next we have beam bone. Now as we can see this displays bones as boxes and shows things like subdivisions, B splines etc. So basically what it does here is it does not make our bone into a mesh but it does give it a mesh like shape so it now looks like a cube so one advantage of this is in this form the bones are very big they're very blocky we can see exactly where each bone is the downside to this type is that we cannot tell what is the top or what is the bottom and that can be important when we're trying to manoeuvre our rigs to create animations. Next we have envelope. Now envelope is very similar to octahedral. We have a joint at the top and a joint at the bottom. With the bottom part being a lot wider than the top. This is basically the same as an octahedral. I think the only main difference with this one is it's more visual that you can see that the joint at the bottom of the bone is clearly bigger than the joint at the top. Finally we have wire which basically is pretty much the same as a stick format if we look around in terms of a single bone it's the same as a stick format the key difference between the two is that the stick format if we zoom in does have little dots at the top and bottom to indicate that this is the top this is the bottom the wire version does not but again it can be used for the same advantages really overall it its display it really doesn't make any difference to the mesh at all or how the rig will be set up this is purely a personal preference thing so whatever 
display type you consider to be the most comfortable is the display type that you will use now for the setup of the rig that we're going to do for human we're going to stick to octahedral at least for the start just so everybody can get used to it this is basically the default choice for our rigs